Creatively, my first love was video, but hot on its heels was music. Initially writing and performing, but then moving on to recording and producing. Back in the summer of 2004, my friend Dix and I set out to shoot a video for one of my songs, and wanting a big brick backdrop, we chose the front of our alma mater, Elk Rapids High School. And then this happened. This is way too embarrassing because people are here and it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, so we're going to have to come up with something else because I'm too self-conscious for this. Most of you can relate to this, I'm sure. When there are watchful eyes on you, you change your behavior, you take fewer risks, you tense up, you play it safe. And you may see where I'm going with this as a small business owner. It can be downright embarrassing to execute some of the ideas you've cooked up. Going through with a marketing campaign, cold calling a potential client, even striking up a conversation in a networking situation, it can make you feel on display and self-conscious, especially in the early days, but frankly, at any point in your business life. But unless you put yourself under the lights and push through feeling embarrassed, you're never gonna get to the good stuff. Let me tell you, it can feel kind of embarrassing for me to shoot these videos where I'm just talking to myself, especially if I'm out in public. Believe me, this is the advice of a coward. I'm still working on it too, but I know that it's so worth it. I'm glad I've done it. It's good for my business and it's good for me. Plus, don't forget, nobody else is paying as much attention to you as you're paying to yourself. Everybody else is all wondering, oh, man, I feel so embarrassed. Can anyone tell? Headed off to go see the real estate guy, Jack Lane. For the past four years, I was his co-host on his long running, now two decades long, Saturday morning call-in show, Ask the Real Estate Guy. It's Ask the Real Estate Guy with Jack Lane. Today we're gonna go and we're gonna shoot some new TV commercials for Jack. So the hardest thing when I was starting out was uh, obviously acquiring clients. Mm -hmm. And then uh, along with that, getting people to believe that you had a level of uh, professional expertise to offer them. Mm -hmm. Because when you're beginning anything, there's always a suspicion that, yeah, but how much is, what's, what's a track record like? Yeah. And, and what can he really do for me? And Well, nobody and, wants to, it's, it's like the surgeon who comes in and says, well, this is my first day. Yeah, yeah. Where do you cut again? <laughs> Here's something that it took me way too many years to understand this. But people are really forgiving. Humans make mistakes, right? There's nobody in any line of work that gets it done exactly correctly, from surgeons on down. When you make a mistake, own up to it and recover from it as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And then you have to learn to say no too. Once you learn to say no, you're gonna do a lot better in business because you can't just go chasing wild uh, cockamamie ideas or if you get completely packed in, it does no good to promise people things that are not gonna come true. Do you think people, when they're insecure and they're young, say yes because they don't have the confidence or they don't want to hurt someone's feelings? Yeah, yeah, man, it's, I, I still have to fight. I'm 66 years old. I still have to fight the urge to say yes. But you've got to know the value of your own time. And then you have to know your own list and take care of the people who are already in love with you. Don't continually try to get more people to fall in love with you if you're not taking care of the people who are already love. Well, that sounds like I can't get married. I just did it last week. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> there's, there's another piece of good advice yeah. for all of you uh, watching this. Yeah, there you go. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't start wooing people a, a week after the wedding. <laughs> no, I'm not about to tell a ghost story. The power's out. I was working here this afternoon, just about finished with an edit that I was hoping to get to a client to get some notes and wrap up this project and boom, power goes out. Last week I was talking about how entrepreneurs are like firefighters. Be ready for anything at any time, which I still stand by is good advice. 
However, there are things that are just out of your control. Better luck tomorrow. I think you can beat yourself up about not being prepared for certain things or or things that happen completely out of anyone's control. This is an adult snow day. We don't get a lot of those once we finish school, but this is one of them and you just gotta be okay with it. So on that note, I'm gonna go play guitar because that requires no electricity and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Bean's brother. Maybe I'll uh, go serenade Bean's brother, see, uh, see what my cat wants to hear. Uh, usually he likes metal though and I can't plug in so. I think it's going to be a tough night at open mic at Pancake Boy headquarters.